What's going on YouTube, Giasno right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about iOS 12.1.3 and 12.1.4 jailbreak now that the iOS 12.2 has been released. Now the iOS 12.2 has been released with a lot of bug fixes. And of course, all these bug fixes are fixing vulnerabilities that can potentially be useful for jailbreaking. Now, not all of them are indeed useful for jailbreaking. However, the kernel vulnerabilities, the sandbox escapes, the root privilege escalations and so on can definitely be very useful for such thing. Now, if you analyze the iOS 12.2, patch notes in here released on March 25, you can see that there are a ton of bugs, including one that is actually very nasty. It says here feedback assistant. Now this is the application that Apple uses for you to basically provide feedback if you're a developer. Quote impact, a malicious application may be able to gain root privileges through the feedback assistant. Now this is strange, I have no idea that this can be exploited that hard. But anyways, this is not the big one. As you can see in here, there is IOHID family and IOKit with various bugs that can be used to read the kernel memory and then of course you have some kernel ones in here found by Trend Micro and by Google Project Zero in here and as you can see it says quote an application may be able to gain elevated privileges a remote attacker may be able to cause unexpected system termination or corrupt kernel memory and if you go down below in here it says a malicious application may be able to determinate kernel memory layout and a local user may be able to read kernel memory. And also a ton of WebKit ones that can be used for a Safari jailbreak, so definitely nice. Now, speaking of these vulnerabilities in here, these apply for the iOS 12.1.4 and 12.1.3. Of course, they may apply for 12.1.2 and lower, but we don't care because there is already a jailbreak for those versions. However, for 12.1.3 and 12.1.4, there is no jailbreak, so we can definitely use those. However, if you're running 12.2, go ahead and downgrade right now to 12.1.4 if you want a jailbreak because 12.2 fixes all these in here which are present on 12.1.4 and 12.1.3. Now, following the release of iOS 12.2, some researchers have posted a lot of important information. John posted, quote, KASLR or kernel address space layout randomization bypass and kernel based finding code is impacted by iOS 12.2 for jailbreaking. For some bugs and methods. Note how the kernel base isn't always 4000 anymore. Looks like KASLR has been improved. So yeah, this is definitely something to make the jailbreaking harder. So I would definitely recommend against updating to iOS 12.2. Simo also posted, quote, Apple fixed two nasty sandbox escape bugs I reported in iOS. CVE 2019-8549 and 8552. Full exploit of CVE 2019-8549 will be released soon in coordination with Secure Team SSD. Now remember this is a sandbox escape which is an important component of a jailbreak. So as you can see we already start to get exploits and vulnerabilities for the uh, iOS 12.1.4 and iOS 12.1.3 so definitely stay on any of this firmware in here and do not update the iOS 12.2 if you're interested in jailbreaking. Of course, an iOS 12.1.4 and 12.1.3 jailbreak will take time, but we already got started with Simo and John posting information about this. And of course, we may get the kernel vulnerabilities from Google Project Zero soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you informed with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. Till the next time, peace out.